let me drag order date to the rows right click choose exact date and then convert it to discrete now write a calculated field to filter the data for last 30 days as you know date dip function returns the difference between two dates based on the date part if you provide date part as day it returns it returns number of days difference so start date is order date and end date is today and then so as you know there can be number of uh, records for one order date so i'm going to add aggregate function min so that we don't get the sum of the difference of between two dates and then click ok drag this calculation to the text current date is 16 july 2021 and there are no sales on this day so you are not seeing zero here uh, so you can see we are the calculation is working and it's giving the difference between two dates so if you write another if you, let me right click and edit to add the condition that it should be less than 30 and then click ok so now the calculation is changed to boolean type drag this calculation to the filter and select true click ok so in my current data set we have the data available for the future dates also in that case you need to write another condition in most of the real time scenarios you see data available till current date but in case if you have the date uh, data available for future dates you need to write this condition as well it should be greater than or equal to zero so this means it includes the current date and it takes to the only 30 days information if you keep less than 30 then click ok ok that's it we have the data available displayed for last 30 days if you want to get sales for last 30 days you need to edit the calculation to write if condition so if this returns If this is true then sales end so I can remove this aggregation now then click ok go to the new sheet right last 30 days so I'm going to see last 30 days sales by category Let me change the number format. Right click, go to different properties, number format, custom. I'm going to select zero decimal places and then click OK. Okay, that's it. So here we have last 30 days sales. If you want last 60 days, right click duplicate and right click edit. Right click edit replace 30 with 60 and then click ok let me drag last 60 days to the view oh, sorry ok um, we'll show as a cross table So if you want to test the output, you can create a related date filter that is drag order date to the filters and select relative date and then select last 30 days from here, last 30 and click ok. We want sales by category. Furniture is seven thousand four hundred and 
133 last 30 days which is correct so to test the 90 days select 90 and then click ok so it's 29289 sorry I need to select last 60 days and click ok so it is 19,776 19,776 which is correct so calculations are working fine and that's it for this video uh, if you have any questions please do let me know in the comment section I will respond as soon as possible and thank you for watching for visiting my channel for the first time please do not forget to subscribe